In this video, we're going to cover installing sidewall trim for an exposed fastener panel. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Yeah. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of panel colors and finishes, all while saving 15 to 50% on your materials by buying factory direct. Visit westernstatesmetalroofing.com to find the right material for your project. In this video, we will cover preparing sidewall at end wall, preparing sidewall at eave, overlapping sidewall, installing foam closures, and fastening sidewall, preparing sidewall at end wall. For this example, we are preparing the sidewall with a roof that is 14 degrees or 3 and 12. Start by marking the pitch angle of your roof onto the top section of the sidewall starting at the corner of the trim. Mark a parallel line 1 inch from your first mark. On the lower section of the sidewall, mark a straight line across from your angled 1 inch line. Using metal cutting snips, Remove the sections marked with an X. Fold the remaining tab inwards 90 degrees. Sidewalls should be flush to your corner and have tab bent back on the end wall. Preparing sidewall at eave end. At the eave end, measure out the length of sidewall needed and add an additional inch. Mark the top section of sidewall 3 inches inward from your mark. Using metal cutting snips, begin cutting along the outline. Please note, for markup purposes, we had a 3 inch overhang. This is why we made this part to this size. Depending on your sidewall and eave condition, additional bending or different size cuts might need to be made and factored in. Fold the remaining tab downwards 90 degrees. The tab should fall flush with the roofing panels, as shown here. Overlaps of sidewall trim should be a minimum of 3 inches. Start by marking the hem of your sidewall 3 inches in. Using metal cutting snips, cut off 1 eighth of an inch from your hem up to your 3 inch mark. Slightly pry open the hem of the adjacent piece of trim up to 3 inches in. This will help the piece slide into the trimmed hem section. Silicone sealant should be placed along any side laps. The section that was slightly pried open should slide into the cut section as shown here. Prior to installing your sidewall, double-sided beetle tape should be laid across the path of your end wall one inch from the edge of the end wall. Foam closures should be placed on the top of the double-sided beetle tape along the path of the end wall. A strip of double-sided beetle tape should be laid along the first high seam of the roofing panel along the side wall trim path. Silicone sealant should be placed on the top of the foam closures. Fastening sidewall. For an easier installation, we recommend pre-drilling your holes prior to fastening. On the top section of the sidewall, 1 inch from the top edge, 12 inches on center. Begin securing your sidewall using pancake screws along the top section of trim. Lap screws should be used to secure the lower section of sidewall to the first high seam of the roofing panel along the path of the beetle sealant tape. Screws should fall 12 inches apart. End wall is installed after the sidewall is in place. For a step-by-step -step video on installing Enwall, check out this video. It is important you immediately clean off all metal burr and shavings. Burr and shaving can rust overnight, so if your installation will take multiple days, you need to clean your roof after each day. If your siding is corrugated panels, the panels will overlap as shown here. If you're using another material, such as stucco, you'll need to install a reglet. You can find a step-by-step -step installation video on reglets and more on our channel. 
Support us by giving a like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly.